Hi hey everybody. As the world is starting to open up again, I just wanted to share with you an update on our regathering phase strategy. So as of this Sunday, June 7th, we're going to be in phase two of our regathering strategy. And as of next Sunday, the 14th, June 14th, we're going to be in phase three of our regathering strategy. We expect phase three to be a bit more of a spectrum, so we don't expect everything we can do in phase three to start happening as of uh, June 14th, but you are going to start to slowly see us uh, move through the opportunities available to us in phase three beginning uh, next weekend, June 14th. Uh, and so uh, some of the things you're going to start to see change as we uh, get deeper into phase three uh, include an update in our Sunday school and how that's being done. Um, in phase three, you'll notice that we will stop promoting it as an as a online event and, and start having it in the church again. And we will offer an opportunity for people to get online uh, via a webcam uh, and join the live group. Uh, we're going to offer that exclusively to the people who we know to be vulnerable as a part of our church family. Uh, and we're going to be assuming that everybody else is either coming or not interested in coming, or should be going to a, a, a church for some reason. You know, they can't come to ours, maybe they're going to another one, but uh, we're, we're really expecting people to start to return to live groups and only offering that to those who can't return to live groups uh, through personal invitation instead of mass um, public invitation. Uh, and so watch your emails, watch for our announcements, because uh, we'll give you a, a clear warning when you can expect to stop seeing the public announcements for that. Um, and then another thing you'll expect to see, kind of the same deal as regards to church service. So at a certain point in phase three, um, we're going to scale back the online service. We're always going to offer the online service, but it's not going to be publicly promoted the same way we do now. So right now, you're used to me sending out a an email and a text, like a bulk text to everybody in our list, uh, posting it on Facebook. We're just really, you know, screaming it out digitally saying, okay, now uh, is this is the fresh link. Now is the time to sign on. We're just really um, spending a lot of time there. And that's because I'm usually at my desk on Sunday mornings instead of at the pulpit or, or, or handling a, a live service. When I'm handling a live service, I'm just not going to be able to um, be at my desk and send out those notifications and those reminders to sign on. And so um, you're going to start to see um, less of that uh, promotion and uh, more of an expectation that you will um, remember to get on yourself. You can go to our online congregation webpage, or you can, of course, just find the sermon in the sermons page, the list of sermons on our sermons archives, and then just go to the most recent one. You can watch the video there. Um, and, and so you can still engage with the content, but I'm not going to remind you to engage with the content. You're going to have to um, connect with it intentionally on your own. And, uh, and so there again, um, I'll give you clear warning before. We, we're not just going to stop promoting it. I'll let you know. You'll see that coming. You'll get an email or a text that says uh, this is going to be the last time we, we actively promote it. And from there on, we'll expect you to uh, intentionally connect to the digital content that we're putting out there. Um, and so that's just a brief summary of um, the, the big highlights uh, as we move forward from uh, phase one into phase two this weekend and then into phase three next weekend, June 14th. Uh, there's going to be a lot of other things that we're returning slowly uh, back to the way it should be. Um, and so there's a lot more details that you can get caught up on as you join us for service or are paying attention to the announcements we put out there. But uh, this is just a highlight of the major implications for my online audience. Um, we're really encouraging you to, to join us if you can because um, our ability to offer live gatherings is above and beyond in compliance with what the state regulations and recommendations are. So I've looked at the state regulations, the mandatory regulations, picked it through a fine tooth comb, and I've seen their recommendations. Our safety precautions are above and beyond that, and our uh, facility makes that easy. Our, our usual church attendance size makes that easy. So it's just really easy for us to uh, be above and beyond without a whole lot of rearranging of our life. So you could really come to church and have a, a pretty normal church experience. Whereas I know some of these big churches, 
your experience gathering there is just not going to be anything like it used to be for now. It's just going to be very, very different and restrictive. Whereas for us, because our size is so small, it's uh, going to feel uh, pretty normal. And of course, we'll have the safety precautions in place, but it's not a major disruption to our, uh, our service style because our size. And so it leaves room for guests, it leaves room for you to come and join us. And actually, uh, technically, as far as the state guidelines go, you'll be safer to join us for a Sunday morning service than you will to go to Home Depot or Walmart. And so what we're saying now at this point, as we get into phase two and phase three, if you've been comfortable doing any non-essential business, you should be even more comfortable coming to our groups, participating in our outreaches, and joining our Sunday live gatherings. Uh, and so, again, we're above and beyond the safety regulations, while at the same time, it's not a major disruption to our usual service style. So, you know, if you're kind of annoyed by some of those things, um, you know, we have them, but we're not, uh, we haven't turned our life upside down as a result of them because our size allows us to over comply without a major disruption to our routines. Uh, and so we're in a real sweet spot there. Pretty rare. Not a lot of churches can say that right now. So we're, we're fortunate in that regard. So... I uh, just wanted to update you. Keep an eye on your emails and your texts for more information as we continue to move through our regathering phase strategy. And uh, notice that the language and the text on our regathering webpage is going to be more up to date than the language used in these videos because we just shoot these videos once in a while, but I'm constantly updating the language and the text. So if you want just the most up-to-date play-by-play on what's actually happening now, what you can expect now, read the text on the webpage. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in church soon.